Teacher's Corner. What I would like to do over the next several minutes is to show you some of the options that are available within Microsoft Word or other word processing applications. So I'm going to show you how to turn on tracking changes, how to insert comments, how to compare documents, and then how to review the revision history within Google Docs. Let's start out by going to Microsoft Word. And what you see here is, uh, I'm going to go to the right window here. This is track changes. This is uh, the same text that you have available to you. Um, what we can do here is simply uh, clicking on review and we can turn track changes on. And then everything that I do in the document, as you can see here, um, we can start by changing begin to begun, for example, begin. Okay, it will show you changes that you're making in the text. Okay, um, I can change homeworks to homework. Um, I can um, say here, I find that there was difficulty. I could say I find that that it was difficult for me. Um, so we can we can do that and then we can delete this and it will all show up on the side so students know exactly what you did uh, to the document. That's that's tracking changes. Now at the same time you can also insert comments and this would be simply by clicking on this new comment feature but first um, for example if I want to go uh, to this first word here and click on new comment and I could say um, please include a title um, period so these comments can be used uh, to look at more higher level um, or to address more higher level uh, issues that the learners have so that's tracking changes it is also inserting comments the next um, aspect I would like to show you is to care, compare documents and let me set this up a little bit for you. So we have two texts here. This is the, the original text that the student submitted. This is the revised version of the text that the student submitted. Now, oftentimes I find that students um, you know, will tell you that they've made a lot of changes from the first draft to the second draft. Um, and that is sometimes not the case. So what Microsoft Word does for you, you can actually compare the first draft with the second draft. The way to do this is clicking on tools and it says uh, uh, you can do uh, track changes and then you click on compare documents and then you list the documents that, that we have here. So I have student text uh, one and then the revised document is student text version two. So here we have, um, those two documents are the ones that we want to revise. If I click OK, um, Microsoft Word will produce for you a basically a differential document. It tells you what the students did uh, between the first and the second draft. And in this case, as you can see, you know, the, um, deleted a few words here, uh, added some words here. So there was really not much in terms of changes that the student implemented between the first and the second version. The fourth aspect I would like to show you and something that I encourage you to experiment with is um, not within Microsoft Word but within Google Docs. Within Google Docs, now what I have done here is I've also uh, inserted the exact same, um, exact same text that you have access to. I added a comment, you know, even with uh, Google Docs you can insert um, comments, okay, so comments go here you click on comment and then students can actually see that and they can make adjustments based on your comments something else that is not available in microsoft word but is available in google docs is by clicking on file and then looking at what's called the revision history now the initial look of this uh, may not look very impressive because it just says everything is in green and if i look at the different versions one from 1024 there was nothing there because I copied it in there and then I copied it in there. Um, it is possible to look at a more detailed revisions list. So this will actually tell you what happened at the different times that uh, this was done. So you can go through here and say, okay, 
at 1027 changed um, when I begun to began um, made some changes up here so it shows what was there before and then it shows the changes that were made and it also shows who made the changes so if you have a collaborative writing assignment that includes multiple authors you can actually tell who made the changes to the document I find this particularly useful for writing instruction and uh, you know I, I use this quite a bit in my classes so let me go back here to this here so we talked about tracking changes we talked about inserting comments we talked about comparing documents and I showed you how to use the revision history what I'd like you to do is to try this out on your own and to see how you might be able to use this in your classroom.